here I am. It is me. It is she. It's her. What it do? What I really, really want is a spice girl. Sick and sick, I fuck up my whole world. Posh when she told nothing like old girl. Scary and sporty. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Kia Chico. Today in this video, I am not going to be doing makeup. I'm going to be talking about skincare. Um, a few of y'all follow me on Twitter and everything, so I'm sure you've seen the post where I said I was filming. I have actually filmed this video now three times. <laughs> Um, the first time I filmed it directly after my Valentine's Day look video and there was a booger right here the entire time and I didn't see it until I finished editing so I tried to film it again and I had makeup on and I did not like my makeup look that day so I hated the video. So here we are again with a natural face. Let's talk about skincare. Um, this is just going to be a talk through. I am not actually going to like pick up my camera and move it around with me and go to the sink and everything because I'm clumsy and I don't have, um, what is that thing called? I don't have a tripod that's a handheld tripod. There we go. I don't have a handheld tripod to hold up and wash my face and stuff like that. So I'll give that video to y'all when I'm a little bit more experienced. Um, since it is about 2.30, it's 2.30 right now, I'm just going to go ahead and talk about my morning skincare routine and then I'll move into my nighttime. So, after I brush my teeth, of course, I go ahead and wash my face. I wash my face in the morning with the NOLA Skin Essentials Clarifying Face Wash. This stuff is amazing. It's this baby right here. And you just take two pumps of cleanser and massage it into your face. Um, it comes out as foam. I love this stuff. I actually have a code with NOLA Skin Essentials, so that will be listed in the description box below. Um, after washing my face, I go ahead and spray another NOLA Skin Essentials product. The Witch's Brew Toner. Which is... It's not focusing. There we go. I spray this baby on my face. You only spray it twice, so I close my eyes and I go one, two. And this stuff works really well. I really enjoy it. Um, I had been looking into Nola Skin Essentials for a while. I had purchased some lip glosses from them and things like that, but I had never purchased the skincare, although I had heard amazing things about it. And they actually reached out to me and offered to send me some stuff and by far one of my favorite PR packages. I received um, a few things from them and I love them all. I have a face mask from them. I have a moisturizer, which I'm actually about to talk about too. Really, really great stuff. So um, I have, I realized I didn't tell you guys my skin type. I have super dry and acne prone skin. Gotta love it, right? It's like the worst thing ever. I go to extreme lengths to hydrate my skin because it just looks so dry sometimes. After spraying my face with the toner, I go in with oils. So the first oil that I use, I actually got from TJ Maxx for $7. And it is the Measurable Difference Vitamin C Serum. And it here we go. I love this stuff. Um, I do not use this all over my face. I only use this on my eyes. So I take just a little drop, massage it in my ring fingers, and press right under my eyes and over them just to hydrate them. While that soaks in, I don't like applying oils directly to my face. I used to, but I feel like I don't get the best outcome by doing that. So now I put them in my hands. I use the... Bahi Cosmetics Sunflower Sweet Serum. Don't talk about the packaging, okay guys? I've had this thing for a while now. It's the four ounce. I also have a discount code with Bahi. I will list that in my description box below as well. Um, I love this stuff. The Sunflower Sweet Serum is amazing. It's faded a lot of my dark marks. I use it as an overnight um, spot treatment. 
I feel like it works really well too when I see like I'm breaking out I had a few breakouts just right along here um they were raised and like super just irritated I just took a little band-aid put two drops of it on there left it on overnight when I woke up they were flat this stuff works miracles I swear by it it is one of the few products that I am constantly pushing to people because it's just so good now of course it doesn't work for everybody but they do have smaller sizes I would say try it because if it does work for you you definitely want to incorporate this into your skincare routine I take two drops of this um after I spray my face with the toner and hydrate my eyes and put that into my hand and I mix it with the Rada rosehip oil I got this from Amazon it is 100% pure and natural rosehip oil I will link it down below as well. I'm going to actually link all of these products for you guys. But I mix this with two drops and I just go ahead and I actually got some on my hands. <laughs> I rub it in like that and just go ahead and press it into my face. I let that sit for a minute or two and soak into my skin before I actually go in with moisturizers as well. So while that soaks into my skin, I move back into my eyes and this is actually a new product. It's a new product and it's amazing I love it Bahi released a virgin rose eye cream it is so cute I think the packaging is super super cute I love it and um I just take a little bit of this I'll open it up for you guys so you can see it's just a cream I take a little bit of it and I do the same thing that I would do with the vitamin C oil just rub it in, put it right under my eyes and over my eyes and let that soak in. To hydrate my face, I go back to Nola Skin Essentials and I use the Hyperpigmentation Vitamin C Serum. And this stuff is amazing. First of all, it smells like oranges. It just smells so good. It makes me happy. It keeps my heart warm. I love this stuff. And you just take a small amount. It says, um, it actually has directions on the back. And it says, after applying your toner water, apply a pea-sized amount to your skin daily. Allow the serum to absorb before using the Iconic Elixir. I do not have the Iconic Elixir, so I just put this on and let it sit for a moment. Um, if I'm staying in the house, then that is all that I will do. But if I'm going outside, of course you want to use something with SPF in it. So I pick up my Kiko Milano Hydra Pro Day Cream. And this has SPF 15 in it um there we go this has spf 15 in it i love this cream it's super hydrating um i don't like to apply spf straight to my face i don't like the way it makes my skin feel so i just use moisturizers with spf in it instead moving on we are going to switch over to the nighttime routine and talk about that normally i have on a full face of makeup um and so in order to remove my makeup I go in with the Body Shop Chamomile Cleansing Butter. This stuff works magic. I massage this into my face, just all over my eyes and everything, and then rinse it off with water. Um, normally, I still have like some eye makeup on, so I will take the Bahi Cosmetics Nature's Basos um, Micellar Cleaning Water, or I'm sorry, Micellar Cleansing Water, and the... Neutrogena Makeup Remover Cleansing Towelettes. I actually, I used to love these makeup wipes. I am not too fond of them anymore. I feel like they're extremely rough on my face. However, when I love them, they were amazing. I think my skin is just going through a change. So I say try them. You know, why not? Um, but I take this and I'll just add a little bit of this on there just so that they're not so harsh on my skin and just go ahead and get the rest of my eye makeup off after removing all of my makeup i then like to wash my face with the noxzema cleansing cream it's a moisturizing cleansing cream um i've never used anything by noxzema before until i came across this and it's just phenomenal i like to wet my face and just go in and really massage it into my skin and it's one of the greatest things ever my skin always feels so fresh and clean afterwards so definitely recommend that and they do have different formulas mine is the moisturizing cleansing cream I believe that they have like a regular one and stuff like that but that one's specifically for dry skin so 
get on that okay okay um next i am going to talk about the colana beauty crystal essence i use this right before i use my toner after i cleanse my face just to make sure that i got all of the makeup and dirt and grime and stuff off of my face and my neck area always pay attention to your neck guys people tend to neglect it don't it's important you don't want to get like chicken neck or whatever they call it but I use this I put it on a cotton pad and just go ahead and run over my face and my neck just to make sure that I got all of that yucky stuff off afterwards I then go in with the Bahi toner spray And this stuff is amazing too. I love Bahi so much. It was one of the first um, small brands that I actually received skincare from. And it's changed my life, okay? Don't know where I'd be without the Bahi skincare, okay? So I use this and once that dries in, I go back in and hydrate my face with the same oils that I used in the morning. And I also use the Bahi eye cream at nighttime as well. And then to moisturize my face at night, I use the Colana Beauty Ultimate Rejuvenation Cream. It's amazing. I love this stuff. It has collagen, vitamin E, A, and C in it. Get your skin and vitamins, girl. Get your skin and vitamins, girl. This stuff is super lightweight, super great, and highly hydrating, okay? Get into it y'all need to and that is all for my skincare routine um as for my makeup removing process Bahi just created um a new cleansing oil which I'm super excited to try guys because I love being able to make my process a little easier and not having to do so many steps so I'm definitely excited to try that and I will be reviewing that once I get it um and we will see how that goes. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video, this little chat through on how I keep my skin looking so popping. I know, I know. Um, and I look forward to seeing you guys again soon. Like, comment, and subscribe if you have any ideas or any previous looks or anything like that that you would like to see. Just go ahead and comment below. Follow me on all my social medias. And I'll see y'all when I see y'all. Bye. What I really, really want is a spice girl. Ziggy, ziggy, I fuck up my whole world. Posh when she talk nothing like old girl. Scary and sporty.